welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was going to wait until I got to Venice to introduce the vlog, but we're a little bit delayed, which isn't a vibe. And Connor can't find his boarding pass. boarding pass, which is a little bit concerning. I've got mine though, so that's all good. Bearing in mind, I sent Beth's to hers. And then I thought, oh no, I don't need to see, take a screenshot of my own. And now it's <laughs> vanished. It's just vanished, I just can't understand it. I can't work it out. So yeah, we're going to Venice. We are going for three days for our anniversary. This time last year we went to Paris. We did, yeah. Um, lots has happened in the space of a year, put it that way. Yeah. So yeah, really excited. Always wanted to go to Venice to go on a gondola. So yeah, once we get there, I will be sure to show you around. Yes, plenty of food, very exciting. What are you most excited for? Spring. I know what you're excited for. Lots of time with you, baby. Yeah. And the food. Not going to pizza. <laughs> in to the hotel nice and modern vibes nice big windows nice big clean bed it's lovely and modern which is what we like to see i will show you the bathroom in a second um it's freezing <laughs> it's actually freezing cold and It's been raining and um, yeah, we had to get dropped off because the water taxis from the airport wasn't, it wasn't on anymore. So we got a taxi and then we had a walk with our suitcases, but it wasn't far to be fair. Um, but it's all a new experience. So now I'm wondering, well, we're wondering if we should go out and have a little look round. Not really sure where things are. Regretful I didn't bring any trainers. Connor said I wouldn't need any trainers and I actually do need trainers. <laughs> Don't judge me. Somebody is on to their second piece of pizza. And I'm, I'm gonna a, have I'm a, I'm a big boy. I'm gonna have food. a taste. Top. I'm gonna have a taste. So it's not gluten free, so I can't have a piece but I can have a bite. Oh, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, get stuck in there. Nice. Uh, mm. Guys, that's it now. When I'm munching away, she's going to come back for more bites. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> hey, don't walk away with my pizza. That's <laughs> back in the hotel. Yes. I had to put my leggings on to go out. A bit chilly. Hoping for a little bit of sun tomorrow. You look at my hair, I've just had my hair like layered loads and it's like so layered. It's really short actually. I use lovely. Yeah, do you prefer it with layers? What? Looks like your one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like best booty. Like an apple. <laughs> oh you think that's funny, do you? It's lovely. You were actually howling. <laughs> Cheeky. So we've just been out, had two pieces of pizza. Well, Connor has and I've had a couple of bites. And we're just gonna go back to the room now. It's 12 o'clock and, well, it's 11 at home. And we are gonna do some research and figure out where we're going tomorrow. We've got a vague idea, but we wanna really understand where to go and where the best places are to hit so that we can maximize our time here because we are really only here for two full days. Um, so yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning. Good morning from rainy Venice. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary for the best three years of your life. Oh yes. It's been a roller coaster. It's just pure excitement. Excitement? Yes. Oh, okay. Give each other our cards, which not like us, we went and got together <laughs> the other day because there's been literally so much going on yeah. and I realised we hadn't bought each other cards and we have to. We just like to give each other cards, don't we? We do. 
Um, so yeah, we've woke up. I was hopeful that it was going to be nice and sunny and it's raining. And we've got a bit of a problem because we've brought summer clothes, white pants, white jeans, dresses, flip-flops. <laughs> Shorts. Shorts. Con we did look at the weather, but I think we're just being optimistic. Also, yeah. these windows are stunning. Like, imagine that view, but it's really sunny. Uh, what we're gonna do? So yeah, Connor was like, "Don't bring trainers; you'll not need them." I was wrong. <laughs> I was very wrong. Yeah, I've got. Oh, it's actually pouring. Like it's bouncing off the ground. Oh, devastating. Genuinely devastating. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens, but. Oh, it's actually pouring, God! <laughs> it's actually, I would have stayed back in the UK if I do this. We just went down to breakfast to see what was there. And we decided to go out for breakfast because we might as well. What else are we going to do in the rain? But I just picked up some petite singles. Whatever they are. Mm -hmm. But they're gluten-free. They're gluten-free <laughs> gluten and the look about as dry as toast without any butter on. So, yeah, I need to show you. There we go, There's, there you have it, a petite single. And Connor just had two croissants. Update. The petite singles are actually really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> have a few. That's like, um, what are those biscuits? Fish tea. Malt ones. Oh yeah. Oh, quite, um, Mm. So I thought I would show you my outfit. Obsessed with these Unreal Espadrille like wedges. These jeans are from Stradivarius. The wedges are from H&M. Bag which I love is from Zara. This top is from H&M. My necklace is Ana Luisa. And the reality is I'm not actually going to wear this and I've got a plethora of outfits that are all gorgeous and neutral and summery um, but I just thought I'd put it on and see what I look like literally gutted I'm not going to be able to wear I mean I will wear this outfit but I'll have to put a coat I'll have to change my shoes and I'll have to put my scarf on as well I think Got my brownie. Got my white jeans turned up. Got a jumper on over my lovely top that I want to wear. Got my scarf on. Got a hotel brolly. Only thing I haven't got is suitable footwear. Tell, tell YouTube about your outfit right now. What are we rocking? Well, Nadia. 10% discount code she in the description. Like, well, she was speaking in Italian and she was like, it matches your scarf. Oh. So, check the scarf. 20 euro. It's the new look, 2023. <laughs> well, at least it costs less than buying new trainers. Yeah, exactly. Some of the little shoes in there were really cute though. Uh -huh. They were like the other little ones, but I thought. Yeah, no.
catch it on camera, but I did get it on my mobile. On my mobile? How old do I sound? <laughs> on my iPhone. Um, so I'm going to insert it here. But um, we were, is this St Mark's Square? Yeah. We were literally, I was taking a photo of Connor and this girl started screaming and I literally thought something bad had happened. And I turned around, she was like, she like kind of like, like flipped onto her back almost and rolled back up and her boyfriend was proposing to her, how cute is that? We were American I think weren't they? I think so yeah, it's quite a few, I've heard quite a few American accents. So yeah it's really pretty, can't help but think it would be even more pretty if it was sunny but Connor's telling us that I have to be positive. Listen. No it's just when you come somewhere you do want it I know, sunny. it would be nice if it was sunny yeah. but I'm just more disheartened about the fact that I had loads of outfit plans that I wanted to show. <laughs> Sure, he's very disappointed by that, and we're just looking at all the gondolas and the sun's coming out, and it's just really, really cute and chill. Oh, look at that one, it's pink. having a little nap well not a nap a little spruce up of what energy and i've just put this dress on which i absolutely love it's from forever new it's stopped raining outside now so i thought i could wear this and get a nice little picture in it because i'm obsessed with this dress i got it i think around christmas time and i've not had the chance to wear it and um yeah i love it it's a little bit creased but we're rolling with it Sexy. Canals of Venice, and then we're gonna go to Grand Canal, right? Mm -hmm. Which is so beautiful. <laughs> like literally everything you read, like about Venice, says like every street or every bridge, every canal is like so beautiful, and it is, mm -hmm. isn't it? It is. Like, yeah. Literally, I think we stopped at, like, every ten meters to try and like get a pic. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. No. <laughs> That's all. Gondola ride. 10 out of 10. The fact that the sun's come out, the 
It's made the world of difference, isn't it? Um, I've just been on a gondola. I'm just loving life. I've went from feeling a little bit mm, this morning because it was raining to like in full enjoyment. Oh, oh well, there we go. What about you? Fantastic. Did you love it? I loved that. That's it was so weird. Do you know? Do you know what? Right. Mm. That for me is a hot take. Is what? Hot take coming right now. That for me has put this above Paris so far. What? Just that experience alone. I know that experience. Do you know what? I've always dreamt, like I've genuinely always dreamt of doing on a gondola. Mm -hmm. Like just for as long as I can remember. And it didn't disappoint. See, Connor Howard making dreams come true. <laughs> Being a good Insta boyfriend. The best Insta boyfriend. Yeah. I'm working overtime here. <laughs> Carrying I'm, me back. I'm supposed to come and relax. It's never the case. <laughs> Con, you always encourage me to oh, do. Oh, I want you. To, no, I'm happy to do it. But oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of shots. Walk past it earlier, and you've seen. And I don't know what I get: coconut, tropical, mango. I don't know what I get: lemon, and I went for strawberry. And literally, it's the best thing I've tasted. <laughs> the best thing you've ever tasted. That's nicer than ice cream, have you? Whoa! Hang on! Uh, hang on! Don't listen to her, guys. She's. I think she's a. Uh, a bit high on the. On the, on off the, the gondola trip. On the adrenaline. Oh, right, she is. Also, can I just say, I don't know whether we've updated the vlog, but um, literally we were just down there beside the Alto Bridge and uh, Connor had us sitting on a wet step getting a ball. It's all worth it when the shots fire. No, you're going to put it, it's going to pop up on the screen, you're not going to show it on your phone right now. It's going to pop up on the screen. It's 2023, uh, we know how to use technology. <laughs> Just yet. So we're absolutely knackered, and the sun is out, so we feel guilty about, about going back home. We're gonna head like, back to the room, so we've decided to get a water taxi because we wanted to do that anyway. The cold, what the cold vaporettos. Um, so we're trying to figure out that, and it's not easy. I'm not gonna lie, but I think we're on it for like half an hour, which doesn't really make no, any we're, sense. We're not on it for the whole so 20 minutes. It's about 15 minutes, probably. And how many stops are there? Just one? It's up here. Oh, okay, so it's pretty close. Yeah, look, see, so there, so there, and then we walk. Yeah, the thing is, is, you can get like a little private taxi pretty much outside the hotel. I wonder how much that would be. About 40. Or you can get the vaporettos, which are actually buses, and uh, then drop you off like the closest that they can, and then you have to walk the rest because everything's just like little tiny streets, little canals, and all that kind of stuff. Everybody's in cars, talking. Uh, yeah. Do you know what we're going to do tonight? We will probably have some food. One little cannoli, but literally, my lower back's really sore, and Connor's getting blisters. So I think we're just going to go and have a bit of a chill. We had a little like 20 minute chill earlier, didn't we? Yeah, we went yeah. back, got some outfit changes and stuff in case I didn't explain that anything to my wear as an outfit. But um, yeah, go back, chill, and then. Yeah, but I just think as well with trips like this, like Paris, Venice, Rome, all that kind of stuff, like it can be really super tiring. Like, so you spend a lot of time walking around. I mean, we've done 15,000 steps, and then by the time the evening comes, you're literally knackered. Um, it's fine. Judgment. Bit of judgment, we sat in the wrong seat. Yeah. <laughs> Connor was getting wrong. Well, hang on, I offered 
other people in the seats and they said, no, it's sort of like, well, okay then. several days here even though we've just had one full day would you agree yeah it's just been quite a full mm -hmm. okay. so we are gonna leave our luggage at reception and we've got a full day to explore yes oh, was that your excuse bum? me <laughs> excuse me so many pizzas um so yeah we're gonna leave our luggage we're gonna go and explore we've got a few things we want to see we're not, we've decided not to go to Murano, haven't we? Yeah. The glass. Too bored. There's a little bit of backstory as to probably why we'll put off Murano. <laughs> Maybe we'll tell you about that later. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's meant to be gorgeous, so you go. But uh, yeah, we're going to go back to perception, we're going to go and do some exploring, and uh, then we'll come back. We're flights not until half ten, so we've actually got loads of time, um, which is amazing. So yeah, looks like it's a dry day as well today, so no rain, which is perfect. So, it's time for. No, it is. It's Connor's Italian food diaries. checklist, diaries, vlog, <laughs> part 29. We're on the cannolis. So, yesterday I was like, let's get a cannoli before we get back to the room. Yeah. We didn't, we no, regret no, it. No, full of regret, I was craving something sweet. And there's nothing. So, now this is the first cannoli that I've seen this morning. So you're gonna get it. I'm just gonna go for it. Go for it. And as usual, I'll just have to have a bite of Connors. She's not. Yes, I am. I can't have a full one of myself. I simply can't. May I please have a chocolate cannoli? See. Si. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, look at these little oh, biscuits. What's it taste like? It's hard to just spring. To just spring? <laughs> Can I have a try? Strange, isn't it? It's mascarpone inside, that's why. Mm. Mm. Smart. Can we have another little try? What they want to. Mm. That's actually really yummy. Mm. It's nicer the more you eat it, isn't it? We're back at the Animal Bridge and Connor asked, Do I want one of those juices again? And naturally, my answer was like, Absolutely, because it was so good. So now I need to decide which one to get. Because strawberry was so good, but you can't get the same twice. So I went for watermelon. Taste test. <laughs> Beth will say that about all of them. <laughs> no, but it's so nice. Is it? Which one's better? Ooh, that is nice. It's fresh. Mm. It's hard to say. It's a, it's a tough, uh, it's a tough decision. I'd have to try them all. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Maybe I am a little bit fluid. I thought I was doing well. So gluten. Oh. <laughs> wow. Absolutely wow. Love that. A full what? Um, a full pineapple, fully just ready to go. How easy is that? love a little look around the foreign supermarket Connor's favorite shopping Literally can't walk past a H&M without checking it out.
What did you just say? Just turn around and go back that direction. Why? Why? Just why? Why? I don't why? Know, there's something down there. I'm off. Fast on. <laughs> it's giving me like bad vibes. Literally, Connor was like, oh, and like hesitated, like there was something bad. This is Zara. You already know what's gonna happen in Zara. Yeah. <laughs> she said, you just look like the vibe, you said, I'm matching the vibe, can I take your photo? I was like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then I thought, I was like, you're going to make some very gorgeous, pretty babies. And I was like, thanks. According to the, I didn't say this, but according to the Italian woman from Rialto Bridge, I'm already pregnant, so. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? It's hilarious. <laughs> just cheeky. It's dead European, though, that. Very European. Very, just not bothered. Nah. I've noticed that actually, like everybody who is here is nice, welcoming, there's nobody rude I wouldn't say, because no. like, you know, it's important to know what the locals are like and what the tourists are like, yeah. you know, like, that's important to me and it's been really pleasant, mm. um, but one thing I will say is people don't, like, they're not in a rush and they don't, like, apologise or say thank you or no please, excuse no excuse me, but it's still lovely, so yeah. Gonna enjoy the last few hours of the sun and Connell probably wants some more pizza. He's had about a hundred pizzas at this point. I had a really nice piece earlier. I don't know if I vlogged it, I don't think we did, did we? Well, really no, we did. Yeah. Not trying it though, but yeah, I was taking it. But I will say, we've been here two days, and I think two days is it's plenty. It's, plenty. it's a good amount of time. Definitely, I agree. Like, you can. I mean, obviously there was a couple of places we didn't go to, like the islands and stuff. Um, but yeah, two days you can see a lot. If you explore. wanted to go to Murano and Murano, yeah. Murano, Murano is the um, 
the place where they do the glass making and then Barano is the place where it's colourful houses yeah. um, so if you wanted to do those maybe come for three days but two full days is um, yes, good amount. Round three, do you? And I was like, round three of what? <laughs> the juice. <laughs> Absolute joke, I was sampled Li everything. Literally. It's a cold 10% like, for. Yeah, you used the 10% off. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, mango. Um, I'm gonna have. <laughs> I don't know if they get lemon or tropical juice. What do you think? That's it. Kiwi. Huh? Please have one kiwi and one uh, lemon, please. She likes a lot. She likes, she likes a I lot. love it. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. What's it like? Looks like proper kiwi. <laughs> Round three. Mm. Oh, you're never gonna guess what. Literally was sat chilling, then we went onto the Rialto Bridge just to have a like one up like like last look. And I looked down, I thought I recognise that voice, and I looked over down beside where we were just sat, but in a restaurant, a bar. <laughs> was Doreen, <laughs> the, the lady who does my bloods at the doctors, she's a nurse and literally she's been doing my bloods for probably about seven years or something so when I go for a lot of bloods, different you know, I've got different things going on and I went down and literally she's like what the hell, so we've just been talking to her, I'm like what's the chances of that, I just heard her voice, so I mean, that was it. you it took you that long to hear because we were sat next I know yeah. One last one, the 99th slice of pizza before. Before back to no pizza. Yeah, before back to no pizza. So, when in Venice. Yeah. Sweetheart, so I thought I would just jump on here to end the vlog. I've got a little bit of a habit of not ending the vlog and I thought I'd just do it on my phone just for quickness, just for ease. So I'm sorry. I unfortunately had a massive flare up. Who knows? Was it endometriosis? Was it Hashimoto's? Was it my IBS? Who knows what it was, but I had a flare up just as we were leaving the hotel, just as we were going to get our um transfer to get our flight and it was a hell of a couple of hours i was so poorly i was so unwell and yeah it took me a while to get around to editing this content but we had the most amazing time in venice it was gorgeous i would totally recommend it i am a little bit traumatized by how poorly i was and you know i only had the odd bite of gluten i did have an ice cream but um it wasn't enough to warrant how i was feeling but Anyways, hopefully we'll get to the bottom of why that had happened um, and hopefully it won't happen anymore. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. All your love and support is always appreciated. And don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you're feeling lovely jubbly. And I'll see you again next time.